Till it, till it, till it, till it They say they wanna feel me, feel me, feel me, feel me They say they wanna love me now Just can't get enough of me now, yeah, yeah So Mr. DJ, DJ, yes Let me see you please come on the replay yeah. Say they want to feel the voice of the one And only too much money, nigga, say I want to yeah, my true love Nigeria, they find me. The girls in Uni Park, they say they want to see me. For you, they like the girls who struggle for my cities. Yeah, they find me. As I sit down here, so Miss Uni Park, they find me. Find plenty girls in South Africa want to see me. Every day they call my phone, they tell me, say they, they want to feel me. They want to love me. I never even seen the start to call me. Small thing they say they want to marry me. Even when their boyfriends stay around, they still they eye me. Them girls Girlfriend love me now, yeah, yeah Be my girlfriend love me now, yeah, yeah See my girlfriend love me now
Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in the holy bond matrimony. And covenant of marriage was established the bond by and God covenant in of marriage was established and by our God Lord Jesus in Christ adorned this man and our Lord Jesus Christ by his adorned this man the first miracle by his at a wedding in Cana first miracle of Galilee. at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church and holy scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the Spirity help and comfort adversity. given one another in prosperity and when it is and adversity, God's will, for the and when it is God's will, and for the procreation of children, of the and their nurture in the knowledge and therefore love of the marriage Lord. is not to be entered into. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this home ye now come to be joined. If any of you can show just cause why they may not be lawfully married, speak now or else forever hold your peace. That's good news. That's good news. <laughs> I require and charge you both here in the presence of God that if either of you know any reason why you may not be united in marriage lawfully and in accordance with God's word, you do now confess it. Not at all. <laughs> Who gives this woman to marry this man? I do. Thank you very much. Uh, She is your. You have this man to be your husband. Him honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I will. Define. Will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Will all of you witnessing these promises do all in your power to support these two persons in their marriage? We will. We will. I think you can be louder than that. We will. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O gracious and ever-living God, you have created us male and female in your image. Look mercifully upon this man and this woman who come to you seeking your blessing, and assist them by your grace, that with true fidelity and steadfast love, they may honor and keep the promises and vows they make through Jesus Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
does all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and dares all things. Love never ends. The word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Jesus said, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please be seated. So the joyous day has finally arrived. There's nothing left for either of you to do to plan for your wedding. You just have to ride it out now. You're in the midst of it. And as we were speaking just before the service, uh, it's okay just to focus on breathing, focus on listening, focus on holding hands and feeling all of the extraordinary love and support, not only of the God who created you, loves you and who sustains you, but all of these extraordinary people who have gathered in this place to celebrate what is now a fundamental relationship that people share amongst human beings. We will have lots of other important relationships amongst family and friends and colleagues, but this is now the rock upon which we are all built. We heard expressed in the readings today that God's intention in Christian marriage is that it exists as a holy union for your mutual joys. That is an important thing to cling to in difficult times and in completely joyous unfettered times. That marriage exists for your mutual joy. Isn't that a gift? Now I know many married people here uh, would agree with me when I say that marriage can also be very hard work. Amen? Yes, marriage can be hard work. But the purpose of marriage, its reason for being, is so that you might always, through thick or thin, have companionship in making the challenging, difficult decisions that life will bring your way. Now, for your own work as individuals and as couples, as a couple, you help to heal other people. It's quite a godly thing to do. And God intends for that to be the work of your marriage that when each of you feels at times broken, that you will help to be a healer for one another and to support one another. I know that you have found joy in your lives by finding one another. It is the hope of the whole church that in bringing yourselves together in marriage, that that joy that you have found will spill over from your relationship into all the world. It might feel a rather heavy thing, or a big thing. But the church believes in a very real way that when two people find love and they bring that love together and ask God's blessing in marriage, that that will makes the whole world a more peaceful, a more loving, a more suitable place for all human beings to live. And so that's our prayer today as we gather in this sacred space, praying that God's blessing bestowed upon you all the days of your life, every day as you wake up, every night as you go to bed, as you go to work, as you play together, as you travel together, as you welcome children into the world together, if God bestows them upon you. So just take a moment in this space, before the partying of the rest of the day, before the sheer joy of the honeymoon, which I know is going to be a great adventure, and then before all the work and joy of the adventure of the rest of your life together begins, just feel God's love and the love of so many people 
who have just promised to support the two of you in your marriage, surrounding you in this place, ringing off of every wall and soaking in to the core of who you are. You're not in this marriage alone, but rather you're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses on heaven and earth, and you have so much support from so many people who love you. So may God be with you from this day forward, and may your marriage be one of so many blessings. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I invite you now to join me here at the chancel steps as we exchange the wedding vows. In the name of God, in the name of God, I find you take you Chiazor. I find you take you Chiazor to be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. vow. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Chiazor, take you with me. I, Chiazor, take you with me. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Bless, O oh Lord, these rings to be signs of the vows by which this man and this woman have bound themselves to each other through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow, as a symbol of my vow, and with all that I am, with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. As a symbol of my vow, as a symbol of my vow, and with all that I am, and with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Now that Chiazor and Ifanye have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the giving and receiving of rings. I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That which God has joined together, let no one put aside.
and that the last day bring us to all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now
recognize and acknowledge their fault, and to seek each other's forgiveness and yours. Lord, in your mercy, bestow on them, if it is your will, the gift and heritage of children, and the grace to bring them up to know you, to love you, and to serve you. Lord, in your mercy, give them such fulfillment of their mutual affection that they may reach out in love and concern for others. Lord, in your mercy, grant that all married persons who have witnessed these vows may find their lives strengthened and their loyalties confirmed. Lord, in your mercy, grant that the bonds of our common humanity, by which all your children are united one to another and the living to the dead, may be so transformed by your grace that your will may be done on earth as it is in heaven, where, O Father, with your Son and Holy Spirit, you live and reign in perfect unity, now and forever.
Nice and colorful and bright.
that they might have a great time. So if your plan is not to sit down while everybody's sitting down, or your plan is to stand up when nobody's standing up, please, for the sake of all the other people that traveled, some people traveled all the way from Nigeria. They paid 750,000 Naira to be here. Somebody said, there is Naira. No problem. It's 750,000. That's the point. So please, please, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this together. So all the OpenK women, please would like you to please step outside to escort the parents as they come in. If you're in the orange and the red dress, please join them outside real quick. Tell them quickly. Right now, because I'm about to ask them to come in. And they're very critical to this celebration. The folks who are coming to this from their own side, please put your hands together for the bride's parents. Please put your hands together for Dr. Chike and Mrs. Lee Please put your hands together for them. Put your hands together for them.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call dedication. As you are eating your food, you might be wondering what is going on. But this is the sibling of the groom and her husband. They flew all the way and they came out. Yeah. 
Nuka ka si kolo. Nuka. Oye. It's hard to have seven children like that. You can't. It's not. Uh, 
It's not time, but that's a good prayer, ladies and gentlemen.
Sakozelu wana usi mune mutua Maka kufuli no kalu minua Okwe pele kine nimi jenua Simu welo piuma na sobe piua Swamu nozo chiko mhapi ikua Simu solo kimesu kwa nandua Ego pono salo mwa mune mua Ika na mnaru kiko liputua Ile usa kumbi figu nyoke ki Mbosi doni haku lungo teki Mbogo wanga no kafame kide misima kuja na mbefe sotu mungi Nene Mbogo mato dolu iku ni bobora fungi kana bakulu Mbogo kini kange kikene mama mchile kina ima Mbogo kini kange kikene mama mchile kina ima
You guys are amazing today. Would you all agree? Yeah. Um, sorry, no, would you all agree with that? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no, but seriously, guys, what can I say? Continue to enjoy this moment. And like I said to you earlier, happiness begins now. And like I always say, good people deserve the best things. That's why you guys deserve each other. That's it. Carry on.
ladies and gentlemen, please one more time, put your hands together for the sister of the group right there. As you can see, this is how it happens with your boyfriend's sister. You've heard it all. <laughs> you better change that direction because the sisters have influence. Thank you so much for that wonderful speech. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we've heard from different groups. I hope you notice what the trend is like. We're hearing from different groups. This is the best time to listen because if you notice from our last name, she's not going to speak like some of us Nigerians. You have to listen very well. So please, everyone right now, put your hands together one more time. For Miss Lene Smith, thank you so much.
be your foundation, be your peace, and be your power. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If I say give me a J, let me try one more time. The person who protects us and keeps us safe. The one who has redeemed us. When I say J, you say... Yeah. Uh -huh. Now what can we say now? Everything. 
know, there's no, there's no further reason to wait. So, on the, on the faithful day, I gave him the date. I said we have a uh, Evo networking event on Madison Avenue, very upscale. There will be doctors, lawyers, the best of the best. So, on that day, it was snowing, so he finally told me, you know what, I can't make it. The Long Island Railroad. I don't know how to get to the city. So I, I left my office, I went to the bathroom, I said, if you don't make it there, you'll see trouble today. So, anyway, long story short, we spotted she as I said, listen, she looks like a, a, a beautiful woman. She's a doctor. Step up to the plate, and um, you know, here we are today. Um, I'm fortunate because you know, I, I grew up in Lagos, and thank you. And he probably was here in Rosedale, but luckily, I spent maybe four summers with him where he would torture me and um, do the perfect flex, which is a wrestling move. And I would have to stand there and take it. And he's taking, you know, he's older than me, and coming from Lagos, we respect our elders. <laughs> So uh, I still respect him, but not that he's older because, like I said, he's, uh, he's a very sensitive guy, which, you know, takes a lot for a man to be sensitive. He's very kind, he's very shy, he's very obedient, and he's the best husband you can have as well. A lot of men out here are, are full of bravado, full of being too prideful, but he does it by being a good husband, as we you know from today forward, a good son, um, and just a good um, influencer for, for everybody. He's dense, like I said, and you know I have two brothers, and he finds my third brother. We are extremely close. I mean, from day one. So I am honored to be here. I've gotten to know Shazor. I posted her in my apartment. I met her the day you met her, so. You know, I think he can find a better, a better bride, and they take the time to know each other, to iron out the kinks. Obviously, marriage is not an easy process, but they will have a beautiful marriage. And I, I told them earlier today, I will be there for that marriage. So whatever you need, you can call me, and I'll always be there. So I love you. If I, Jazzo, I love you as well. <laughs> Thanks for being here, everybody. Let's, let's stand up, please. Let's all stand up. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. Good job. Raise your glass to Doctor and Doctor. Hey, Doctor and Doctor Ogwaha, the newest, most beautiful couple on the block. Amen to that. Thank you.
is actually here walking? Can you imagine? Please, ladies, take a picture with the bride. Take a picture with the bride. If you came out, take a picture with the bride. Quickly. Take a picture with the bride. If you came out, just take a picture with her because from what we understand, even with, if you did not catch the picture, no problem. This picture will send you on your way. We are sure it will send you on your way. Congratulations to Chiaza and Ifani. Thank you. This is not the time to be saying congratulations. You can't forget. How many, how many do you want to do?
together for the lovely bride and groom. We're going to invite them right now to come and take a seat right here. Come and take a seat right here. Because we're going to invite your Bonike women. And we have a special presentation from the bride's mother. Please have a seat. Where's our bridal party? Come this way, bridal party. So we have a special presentation. Fine. Because what is about to happen now is a traditional handover. We're going to have a traditional handover that will happen. But right now that they are sitting there, we have a special presentation from the bride's mother. Because she's going to lead the women to do that. So we can take pictures. Thank you Mr. DJ for taking instruction over here. Thank you so much for keeping this party going. Let's give a shout out and put your hands together for DJ Mecca right there. You understand? We do not have enough time anymore. And so we're moving things along. Please take some good pictures. Because right now we have a few presentations that are about to happen, ladies and gentlemen. So the first thing that will happen traditionally is that the Obunike women are going to do a formal presentation to the couple. And then the Obunike women will take the bride and present her to the family of the groom. You don't talk to me one Joanna, you're going to help us with some items you're being requested here. I'm going to slap her one. Did you give me some live music at the background? Which time do Joanna, our day of coordinator, we're asking for you right here to say you can like you say. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, what is about to happen is that we're going to have the family of the bride. They have their in-laws from...
know, there is nothing to say to you. All I have to do is to look at you and you get me. And in fact, you get me. So, we're using God today to grow. God symbolizes work. It symbolizes wealth. It symbolizes fruitfulness. So, Kachin and I and her grandmother and we need to have So, we're going to drape you with this. So that you will always be warm. Excuse me. And you will have boys and you will have girls. All I have shared you with me, please bring the suitcase here. And let's start putting the warmth, the happiness. And to my Onisha family, all the Onisha men and women who have always supported me, you are my family. All the Umwada, all the Ashebis, you are my family. I found sisterhood in you. I will always be loyal to you. And I thank you so much. So we want the only one there. We are going to get ready. Everybody want to play a group there. Bye. 
true job. So it's the joy we are celebrating today. We are all very happy and we pray that this joy continues to glow and continues to be abundant in their life. And we pray that if any and your wife, if I listen, will always be successful in life. We wish you everything you wish yourself. We are going to come back in the next nine months and do your own work. be yours in abundance. In your union, may you find happiness and satisfaction in your work. May daily problems never cause you undue anxiety, nor the desire for earthly possessions dominate your lives. But may your heart's first desire be always the good things, waiting for you in the life of heaven. And finally, may the Lord bless you with many happy years together so that you may enjoy the rewards of a good life. And after you have served him loyally in his kingdom on earth, may he welcome you to his eternal kingdom in heaven. May the Lord Jesus, who was a guest at the wedding in Cana, bless you and your families and your friends. Amen, amen, amen. Not because of prayer of us, you'll be a show of the dust. I'm not cheating. Hey, I'm not cheating. 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 Oh, yeah. 
Carta. That is a message that you can always use. You know? And in this envelope, we are talking of love for our member. Yes, you can have that is in which whatever is there, we say congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Please put your hands together for them one more time. Thank you so much. Please put your hands together for them. Start. Good evening, madam. Um, please, can you tell us how happy you are about this whole thing that's going on today? I have seen my God in so many ways to fulfill His faithfulness. He said to be still and to know that I'm God. If I is my only son. I call him one son that was more than one million sons. Yes. And I was worried at the time who he will marry. He said, Mommy, don't worry. When I find her, you will know. I will be happy. Today, find her truly made her. Because he truly picked, made a choice. A girl, deep in his heart, knows that blended in into the family right from the first of and he knows that he, she belongs to the royal family and that's a lot I say may the Lord be thank you very much mommy mommy because I can't give up for you oh 
Apa ika anku? Apa mo? Awo mbo mbo abalaki. Eya. Awo na mo romo anya mbo gali mbo gali. Kosi ne zibo abalaki. What the Lord for? I become a lay preacher. Now a reverend. Yes. So I am now reverend father. Doing God's work. Preaching and you both. What are you doing with this? That's all I do. For the kingdom of God. Thank you. And I will continue to do it as long as I live. Amen. So happy with that. Then also, mommy. Okay, but then, 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 but now, we to and make a leggy evangelist pastor. Um, good evening, madam, please. Good evening. I can see everything is almost done. It's almost done. God is good. Tell me how happy you are today, please. Oh my goodness. You know, last year, my daughter graduated from medical school and you interviewed me. She, she graduated from medical school with her twin sister and their younger brother. And I thought that was the highlight of my life. And then there's this wedding. And she got married to one of the best boys in town. If I it's just so wonderful. Cheers up my daughter. It's so well. You know how things are well done and you put a fork in it and it's well done. That's my daughter because I raised my kids to be well done. So my heart is filled with gratitude to God and I am so happy. I, I, I don't even know how to say it, you know, but God is good. My hashtag, my hashtag is God, God King because God is wonderful and awesome. Thank you very much, Mommy. What are your advice you can give to other families that they are in a very difficult condition to like find yourself in this situation, be happy like you are happy today that your daughter is married, or your advice to tell them, you know, to just take it easy in life, something like that. It is patience. One of my brothers in law said something to me because, you know, when my daughter graduated, I said to her, my dear, you need to get married. She's like, mom, I'm not even getting married. I don't even want to have kids and things like that. I'm boom, you know. When it's God's time, it happens. So this my brother in law said something like, Ufacha Oda. Oda. Ufacha Oda. Yes. So, Families should be patient. Let us wait for God's gift. Let us wait for God's time. There's no point rushing in it. Marriage is a lifetime commitment. So let our children take their time. Let's not rush them. Because Ufacha or Megane. Thank you very much. What are your prayers for this bride and groom today? So Chazo is the love of my life. She's my other. She's the other by 25 minutes or 24 minutes because she has a twin sister. And Chazo took that Adam thing seriously. So I know. Like I said, we were happy at the walk up when you we, last time we did this, and we are a lot happier than that. And that's the, that's an awesome, awesome thing.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can you give us a special prayer to the people that have come here today as they are going home? What are your prayers for the both the single ones, the male and the female? What are your prayers for them? My prayer is that you take your time and find the right person. It doesn't matter how fast you finish. But how Give us a last kiss to close this video. Show some love. Show some love. Come on, show some love. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Chest to chest. Nose to nose. Palm to palm. We were always just that close, wrist to wrist.